Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Rodha. Uh, I teach live on Academy Plus, as you can see, an Academy T-shirt here. Okay, so now, uh, hey, so this is uh, CAT twenty twenty. It's around fifty fifty five days away. Okay, it is fifty to fifty five days. So I plan a lot of activities actually. Oh, so, okay, so let me take few announcement actually, and then we can do this fantastic set. Okay, it's a fantastic LED set here, right? Now, for see, for example, guys, uh, be very active in our community tab. Okay, because in this channel, in this Rodas. Community tab. I'm trying to post regular quizzes actually. Okay, so we are are uh, doing this live quizzes here. Huh? It's actually a lot of fun with the studying because after every question, you get to see your live score, your rank, and the more the faster you score actually, right? The more the faster you score, okay, the better is your rank actually, right? So faster is your score, the better more point you get. So it is actually a very uh. Nice initiation, initiative, and very innovative thing actually. Okay, and it's absolutely free of cost. It's absolutely free of cost. Okay, so just you need to join this. It it is access accessible through an academy app. Okay, you can just see an academy app guys, and uh, in this an academy app, you can just go to tests. In this tests, you can just put this uh join test, and in this join test, you can put the below six the uh, six digit ID which I provide every time. So I provide it in my this uh, tab actually community tab of the channel and a lot of more one fifty two hundred more than people participate here. I want more people to part participate in this. I have made a very nice question bank actually. So we have made a very nice question bank uh, of moderate to advanced level. Okay, and we have database database around more than thousand questions we have prepared. Ah, uh, in this we can uh, for each module actually more than thousand questions we have prepared and we can uh, each time we take a quiz. Uh, around twenty to thirty questions. It's time bound actually. Sometimes forty second per question. Sometimes eighty second per question like that. Okay. So just try to follow it actually. Okay. So I want to part. I want all of you to participate in this in this quiz because it's a pat. It's a life. Uh, it's a life quiz and in in this change pattern of cat. It's very important that uh, you do time bound practice now. Okay. Okay. So this was one thing, right? Okay. Now let's just start off with this, guys. uh another thing actually yeah so because of this question ma'am what we are discussing right now see so what we have we got here again it's a free initiative from an academy just try to uh, uh follow this we have this uh, mock tests free mock tests again we have designed it with lot of uh, good quality questions of ldi and q and ba okay ldi and q especially we have is uh, uh, uh put question lot of uh, Uh, cat level sets and lot of uh, cat level questions, moderate to advanced level questions. Okay, so these mock tests are again free for all. It's absolutely free. Okay, so just and we have a same day analysis also before this. Okay, so it's every Saturday we do this analysis. Uh, every Saturday is a test, same day analysis by the top faculty of our academy. Okay, and uh, so this is I want right. So I want all of you to give this test actually. This is we are trying to. Uh, Give lot of uh, mock tests here in this uh, uh, this uh, championship test. So whichever test you have missed, also those also will be here. Okay, so that's the right thing. Guys. Okay, so I want all of you to do this. Okay, be very active in this community. Uh, this uh, sorry, be very active in this community type of this channel. Okay, the first point is basically the quizzes, the live quizzes. Okay, and second point is this test. All of you guys try to. Follow it regularly. Okay, so again, I'll I'll post in the comment section, right? In the tab also, I've uh, posted a link. In the comment also, I've put this enrollment link. Enroll to it and just give this every Saturday. Good question bank, free of cost. Why not? Right? You should actually give. Okay. Hello guys. So let's start with the set. Okay. So now this, if you look at this set, actually, it's a very good set, fantastic set. Okay. A quant based. I'll put under this quant based reasoning. Okay. This is basically under quant based. reasoning okay and in this quant based in this quant based reasoning i'll put this kind of set okay and it's a must know concept because this can this this concept can be used in very good quant questions also okay the concept then this is already a very good lrdi set okay and then further on this concept can uh, this questions are asked in interviews also right it is as a puzzle it is asked in interviews also Okay, so for all the three perspective, it becomes very very important set. Okay, 
So just all of you to want, I, all of you, I want to pause this video, okay? And uh, I want all of you to pause this video and then just try this set for 15 minutes at least, right? And then see the solution, okay? Now, so we can't pause it for 15 minutes, right? So let's just start now. So I hope all of you have done it, okay? So now let's see this question, okay? Now see this, guys. It's a very good concept, okay? Just pay attention to next, uh, in next 10 minutes, you'll go, you'll, if you don't know this, you're going to learn something very nice uh, in quant, very good pattern, okay? See, so this, this set actually says that, uh, a woman wants to buy a gazette at an auction where they bid grams of gold instead of money. Uh, she owns a length of gold chain with two ends made of n circle interlocking loops, each weighing one gram. She wants to go to a jailer before the auction to cut the minimum number of loops that allow her to pay any sum from one to n. Okay, now let's see it, guys. Now, see, like there's an n interlocking loop actually. Fine, so let's say I, I just make a diagram like this, okay. So all of you can see here that in the last, from the last videos, my, di my diagram has really improved actually. Such, see such nice circles I can make. Okay. So like this, they listed there are 23, uh, uh, this uh, uh, interlocking loops here, right? Okay. So now if you see here, uh, see guys, so let's say this is ring number one, ring number two, ring number three, ring number four, ring number five, six and so on. Okay. It could be 23, it could be any number, right? So first thing we want to know about the concept actually. So what I'm trying to say here is, let's say if, just try to understand this point guys, okay. Whenever we make the first cut, this is a combined cut, right? And if I want to pay minimum number of cuts, okay, such that I can pay, I can uh, give any number from 1 to 23, right? So the thing is that obviously you can't do it by making one cut, right? Common sense, no? There's a 23 uh, interlocking loops here. So just by making one cut, it can only be in two parts, right? Okay, so you can't pay every number from 1 to 23. Huh. Let's say the value of 1 gram, let's say it is 1 gram actually. And I want to pay anything from 23 gram, right? That means, let's say after n number of cuts, I have in I have this locks in, interlocking loops in uh, two or three parts. And let's say by with one part I can pay 1 gram, with other part I can pay 2 grams, right? Like that. So you need to understand one thing actually, that wherever we make the first cut, right? Wherever I make the first cut, let's say, I'm making the, for example, let's say I'm making the first cut at ring number three. If I make the first cut at ring number three, that would, how the diagram will look like this? The diagram will look like, like this, see. Okay, so diagram actually look like this now. This is three, this one and two are intact, right? So now I can separate this two actually. This is one and two are intact now. This is three and I can remove this four also, right? And this four is out like this, four, then five, then six, like that. It goes on actually, fine. So now I can see that with the one, with this one cut, I can turn this loop into, th I can make this loop into three parts, right? This is one part, okay? This is uh, another part and this is another part, right? Just try to understand, understand these points actually. This is very important. Don't lose the concentration, guys. Okay. So it is one part, it is three, it is, and this is in, uh, this is the second part and this is third part actually, fine. So with one cut, I can divide it into three parts, obviously. So, and the common sense, but what, what, what I was telling here is, if I make only one cut, so obviously I'm not going to uh, make, uh, obviously I can't pay anything up to 23. Because if I, if I make one cut, I have one ring of one gram, I have one ring of two gram, and now rest four to 23, there are 20 rings now. Okay, so I can't pay numbers like, I can pay one, I can pay two, I can pay three, but I can't pay four gram, right? The question says that you want every number till 23. Okay, get this question guys, okay. You want every number till 23, like 15, 17, okay. So that's what I'm saying. So you have to start thinking from at least three cuts. Sorry, at least two cuts, right? Common sense that one cut will not do the job, right? So you just start thinking from three cuts, okay. Now, let's see here. Uh, okay, see guys. So now in this 23 cuts, right? Now let me again uh, just try to now uh, make this concept a bit easier for all of you. Okay. So let me make it, right? So I'll make here, this is ring number one, this is ring number two, this is ring number three, this is ring number four, this is ring number five, this is ring number six, this is ring number seven, this is ring number eight, this is ring number nine, 
string number 10 like that it's going on okay it's going on fine understand this point now guys so i have to start the point is that i have to start thinking from two cuts i told you, you know i have to start thinking from two cuts at least because one cut will not give me all the all the number from 1 to 23 if you start thinking from two cuts right so let's make let's say i make two cuts here if i make two cuts here right so obviously see understand this point guys wherever you make that two cuts you can make on the third ring or sixth ring anywhere right those two cuts will give you two separate rings okay those two cuts will give you two separate rings of one gram each so these two cuts are going to these two cuts will give me what these two cuts will give me two separate rings of one one gram each on whichever number ring i uh, i cut i made that make that cut actually fine so let's say that i got a ring of one gram and one gram okay so i got two rings of one gram and one gram right two cuts i made anywhere those two cuts will give me two rings of one gram each with this one gram and one gram ring i can measure up to what number guys understand this point okay this is very important every line is important what i'm saying guys okay it's like a drisham movie if you if you miss something right you're not you're going not going to get that movie actually same thing here don't uh, uh, miss anything actually okay so if i make two cuts here so with this one gram and one gram i can measure up to two gram right fine with this one gram and one gram i can measure up to two gram okay now tell me what i cannot measure what i cannot measure i cannot measure three gram i cannot measure right put across that means if I make two rings, if I make two cuts of one gram each, or sorry, two uh, rings, uh, two cuts on two individual rings, I can measure up to two gram, I cannot measure three gram. That means I have to have, I have to have a three gram loop or three loop together, right? Because two cuts will, I can measure to two gram, but I cannot measure three gram, right? So I have to have a three loop here. That means the first cut, the, I just started thinking from two cuts. Okay, now the first cut, will have to be at ring number four at least because or not at least exactly because i want to measure every number up to one to twenty three okay i have to have four first cut on ring number four if i have first cut on ring number four and let's say one more cut and any ring number x so those two cuts will give me these two rings okay one gram each and then this is combined together this three i can measure three actually now Guys, if I have to understand this, guys, okay, let me write in the, uh, in the, uh, in, uh, in, in here actually, okay. Now, if I make, if I make two cuts, right, okay, so with just two cuts, what I'm trying to actually get now, I've got two rings of one gram each, okay, and the first cut I've made on the ring number four. So, first cut I've made on the ring number four, that will give me a three gram ring. With one gram, one gram and three gram, I can measure up to what? I can measure anything up to five gram, right? I I can measure anything up to 5 gram, right? If I have to measure 4 gram, I'll pick 1, 3 and 1, 1, uh, one gram ring. If I have to measure 3 gram, I have a 3 gram ring, right? If I have to measure 5 gram, I can pick 3 plus 1 plus 1. So I can measure anything up to 5 gram with this 2 cuts, fine? Let's move forward, guys. Now, still I'm only in first cut, right? I still have to think where the second cut is. So if I can measure anything up to 5 gram, okay, then I cannot measure 6 gram. If I cannot measure 6 gram, right that means i have to have a six gram loop with me that that means the six gram loop will come here ring number five ring number six ring number seven ring number eight ring number nine ring number ten i've not made any mistake one two three four five six yes ring number ten so these are the six ring right first three rings and then these are six rings here that means my next that means my next cut guys okay that means my next cut will be here okay that should be on ring number 11. That should be on ring number 11, right? Yeah. So that should be on ring number 11. Okay. Just wait for a minute. So my next cut has to be ha has to be on ring number 11, right? So with with one with two cuts made on ring number 4 and ring number 11. So second first cut is at ring number 4. First cut is at ring number 4 and second cut is at ring number 11 right so with that i have got how many pieces now so i made made i made only two cuts right how many pieces now one loop of three gram one loop of a uh, six gram uh, right this one is 11 11 uh, 11 uh, one cut on 11 gram ring here fine and then uh, uh, after that i won six gram loop also right now 
with this 6 gram loop guys i can measure up to what tell me now uh, with this 6 gram loop 1 1 3 and 6 i can measure up to what i can measure up to 11 gram i can measure up to 11 gram what i cannot measure i cannot measure 12 gram right just pay attention guys i'm going to derive a beautiful pattern here so we will see a very nice pattern here right first understand the concept understand the concept then get the pattern okay so i cannot make a 12 gram ring here right i cannot measure to sorry i cannot measure 12 gram actually if i cannot measure 12 gram that means i have to have a 12 gram loop with me if i'll have a 12 gram loop with me let's say this is ring number 12 okay this is ring number 13 this is ring number 14 this is still ring number 23 actually 12 gram loop right 12 gram loop okay don't look at this 23 right now don't look at this 23 don't look at this now just look here right okay I need a 12 gram loop. So once I need a 12 gram loop, starting from ring number 12, ring number 13 to ring number 14, let's make a ring number this 23 and is a 12 gram loop right now. 12, 12 ring loop, 12 gram, gram weight, right? That means you can see guys, now with this two cuts at first cut at ring number 4, second cut at 11, I have got my ring in five parts. 1 gram, 1 gram, 3 gram and what is the last part guys? Last part is 11 gram actually. Okay, so let me, com let me combine this here. With this two cuts ultimately, what I have done? I have made 1 gram, then again 1 gram, then 3 gram, then 6 gram and then uh, 12 gram loop, right? So I don't need to make any cut right now. I don't need to make any cut on 23 right now, okay? Because just the question is what? What I am trying to understand is actually with two cuts and with these loops i can measure anything up to 23 how think of a number called think of a number called 19 gram right think of a number how can you measure 19 gram think over it guys how can you measure 19 gram pause this video think you can measure 19 gram gram by with these loop right 12 plus 6 plus 1 12 plus 6 plus 1 19 gram how can you measure 21 gram 12 plus 6 plus 3 right how can you measure 22 gram you can measure 12 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 how can you measure 13 gram? 12 plus 1. How can you measure 9 gram? 6 plus 3. 10 gram? 6 plus 3 plus 1. Right? So that's the funda, right? So this is what you got, right? Now, so I, I made you understand this. Okay, two cuts. And now in these two cuts and five parts, understand this, guys. Two cuts divides the ring into five parts. One part is here. One part is ring number four. One part is from here to here. One, sorry, here to here, one part is in number 11 and one part is from here to here, right? Total five parts, okay? So two cuts and five parts. And now you see in the next video, we derive, we'll solve all these questions also and derive a beautiful pattern for this, okay? It's an ultimate concept of point based reasoning, okay? So let's continue this in next part actually, fine. Thank you.